Hello YouTube, 123LG Productions here, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick video uh, showing you what's to come in iPad iOS 4.3, which was released to developers today. As you know, I'm a developer, so I get a preview of this. I'm just showing you very quickly um, the coolest feature <clears throat> of all uh, of them. And there's a few features, something to do with AirPlay, I didn't go into specifics. Uh, you can now change what the orientation lock button does from orientation lock or mute in the settings and a couple other things but the main thing here which is only for iPad at the moment is you can now use multi-touch gestures to control the basic um, functions of your iPad rather than the home button so let's say I have YouTube open rather than clicking on the home button to go back to the home screen I can now take four fingers and pinch in just like that uh, there's no going backwards, so that might be in the future, um, but it's only to go back to the home screen. It's very simple. The animations are very smooth. <coughs> As you see, I'm having a little bit of trouble here because of the uh, scroll, but if you do it, maybe not so far apart. But yeah, you get the hang of it. Um, also, to bring up the multitasking bar, rather than double clicking on the home button, you can now just take four fingers and swipe up and down and up and down and up. Uh, and once again, the animation is very smooth. The last thing that you can do with multitouch gestures is let's say I do have uh, all these apps open in um, multitasking. So I have YouTube open. Rather than double clicking, going to photos, double clicking, going to videos, I can now just take my four fingers and swipe back and forth. This video camera doesn't do it much justice. I'm using my web camera right now uh, just to make this video quick. But um, the animations are very, very smooth as any Apple animation would be. Um, but they're really, really high quality. Um, so this brings up the idea that maybe the next iPad 2 will not have a home button. And that's something quite interesting. Um, because you really can take away all the need of the home button with these multi-touch gestures. I mean, right at the moment, I could control my whole iPad um, with the four-finger gestures. I believe you can use five as well if you want. But four do work too. Um, and uh, it's not perfect right now, this is just in beta. So for example, uh, I was just doing it and kind of froze the whole iPad and touch didn't work so I had to restart it. Um, but they'll work all the kinks out. By the time they release it to the public, it should be perfect condition. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what else Apple has uh, in, this, in this type of uh, control of the iPad. Um, maybe something totally multi-touch gesture wise, um, like, you, like you control your MacBook trackpad but for um, iPad so that's really cool I really hope to see more from Apple like this I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks guys for watching remember to put a thumbs up comment down below what you think and subscribe right up there if you enjoyed this video thanks guys I'll see you in my next video peace out